Conditioned play audiometry is the process of conditioning children from approximately two through four years of age to respond to a stimulus by turning the response into a fun activity. The testing is typically performed under insert earphones with a pure tone stimulus. The audiologist presents the signal to the child and the child responds to the stimulus by performing a task, such as throwing a block into a bucket or putting pegs in a pegboard. Okay. To condition the child, begin by explaining the task using simple instructions. All right, what then demonstrate what is expected of the child. This is done by presenting the stimulus at an intensity level the child is likely to hear while holding the child's hand with the object in it up to his or her ear. Immediately after the stimulus, move the child's hand away from his or her ear and towards the appropriate response while providing instructions and positive All feedback. Right, what next? This is continued until the child can respond on his or her own. Okay. Good job. You're really good at this game. Okay. This is going to be a pretty cool looking one, too. During CPA, the pediatric audiologist is responsible for aiding the child in the response activity. There we go. The assistant provides the child with the object used for responding, coaches the child through the conditioning process, and provides continuous excitement for the activity and positive feedback for the child throughout the testing. Okay, listen closely. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's see. Can we make these some balls? Do you know? We don't have any ears. Oh, we need the ears. Okay, we'll do the ears next. Good job. You might not stay. <laughs> we'll I can hold them, hold them on. Oh, I didn't see that. A second ago. Once the child is conditioned, the threshold search can begin. Similar to the threshold search in VRA, the intensity of the stimulus is lowered to determine the softest level at which the child responds correctly 50% of the time. Good job. All right. Do you want the nose now or the other ear? The oh, lips? What's the nose? Is this the nose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we gotta listen. We gotta listen to Good job. All okay, right. Thanks, You're doing awesome at this. How about the lips? Good job. All right, now what, the other ear? Yeah. Okay. There we go. job. You're doing awesome. Speech testing is performed in order to determine the test-retest reliability based on the cross-check principle of the pure tone thresholds. Speech testing may include a speech recognition threshold, also known as SRT, or a speech awareness threshold, also known as SAT. 
If the child is old enough to talk intelligibly, or at least recognize and identify body parts or simple pictures, an SRT should be attempted. If the child is not capable of speaking intelligibly or identifying body parts or pictures, then an SAT should be obtained. There we go. To begin the search for the SRT, first familiarize the child with a small set of spawn B words, body parts, or words corresponding to a picture board at an intensity level the child is likely to hear. Once familiarized, the audiologist will say a word and the child should repeat it back if he or she is able to. If not, then he or she should point to the corresponding body part or picture. The intensity of the stimulus is lowered to find the softest level at which the child will respond correctly 50% of the time. Ice cream, playground, baseball, sunset, duck pond, Sunset. The process used to search for a child's SAT is the same as the process used to perform VRA. The only difference is that SAT uses speech as a stimuli instead of tones or narrow band noise. When searching for an SAT, there is no need to familiarize a child to the speech stimuli since speech recognition is not being evaluated, only speech awareness. Good job! Good job! Yay! Good job! It's a car! A blue car! The results obtained from behavioral testing will vary in their reliability. Some children are easy to test, others make you work for it, and others may not condition to the task at all. There are numerous reasons why a child may not condition to the testing. Some of these reasons include a hungry child, a tired child, or a child who is still a little too young for the activity. If the test results reveal poor reliability, further diagnostic testing should be performed. Hi. Hello. I'm going to bring in the OAE. Oh, okay.